I greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ. I come to you again through this telecast uh, to bring you the good news of the Lord Jesus Christ. We need to know the word of God. We need to know what God is saying each time of our lives. And um, today, uh, I want to share from the Word of God in the book of, uh, from the book of 1 Peter chapter 5. 1 Peter chapter 5, we'll read a couple of verses. Chap- 1 Peter chapter 5, beginning verse 8. The Bible says, Be sober, be vigilant. Because the enemy, your adversary, the devil, as a rolling lion, walks about seeking whom he may devour. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a rolling lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour, whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. The scriptures are cautioning us and telling us to be sober. To be sober. Soberness is like to be on the lookout, to be alert always in the spirit, in our mind, knowing this one thing, that we have an enemy. At every moment of our lives, we have an enemy. And this enemy is a spiritual enemy and is called the devil. And the Bible says he is walking around, he is walking around looking for somebody to devour. But the same scriptures say that we can resist him. In our faith, we can resist him. Now that we know that we have an adversary, And God himself through his word is telling us to be sober. Because there's many times we become so much occupied with a lot of unnecessary things. And that's why scripture says, have no anxiety. Do not worry. Be not afraid. Make your request known to God. And the peace of God that passes understanding shall keep your heart and mind in Christ. Worries, being occupied with worries and fears and eternities and, you know, a lot of uh, businesses in life. It uh, puts us off guard. The devil would get us off guard because we are so much occupied with unnecessary things. The devil is steadfast in everything he's doing, very steadfast. He is very firm and very persistent in what he's doing. And As he's pursuing you, remember the devil doesn't sleep. When we go to sleep, he doesn't sleep. He's always awake, thinking and planning and scheming how he's going to begin with us again when we wake up in the morning. And that's why the Lord is telling us through the Bible, be sober. Always be sober. Don't be overtaken overtaken by things, issues and thoughts and you know, uh, and many other troubles in life. Be vigilant. Why? Because there is an adversary. There is a devil in this world. And like a rolling lion, he is walking about, seeking for somebody to devour. And throughout the scriptures, God is helping us to understand that we're engaged in a warfare. If we look at the Bible again, in the book of Ephesians chapter 6, Ephesians 6 from verse 10 says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. I want you to mark this. Don't be strong in yourself. The Bible does not say be strong in yourself. It is nothing to do with your mind, your intellect. No or your natural inclinations. No. 
But the Bible says, be strong in the Lord. Let your strength be spiritual. That is drawn from God only. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. That means, if you're going to be strong in the Lord, there is an emptying you are going to do. You empty yourself. There is an emptying you are going to do. You empty yourself of the human strength and put up or draw from God that spiritual strength, that spiritual ability, which is divine, which we can only get from God. When we put on that, when we draw that from God, we'll be exactly where God wants us to be. Position of victory. The Bible says, put on the whole armor of God that may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Wiles are schemes, subtlety of the enemy. And the Bible uh, keeps us aware that uh, we do not wrestle against flesh and blood or anything that is of flesh, but we war against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places, against forces of darkness, against forces of evil. That's what we wage war against. And when I look at the word of God, uh, the Bible says in the book of um, Psalms 119, Psalms 119 verse 98. Excuse me once again for many, many scriptures, but it's important because this is exactly what equips us. Psalms 119 verse 98. The Bible says, Thou through thy commandments hast made me wiser than my enemies, for they are ever with me. David is saying, you God, through your scriptures, through your holy word, you have made me wiser than my enemies. Brethren, we can be wiser than our enemies. We can be always at an advantaged position. We can always have an edge of our enemies. We can always up this game through the word of God. It can only happen because the Bible says, David is saying, you God, through your commandments, through the word that you keep on giving me, you have made me wiser than my enemies. Because my enemies are always with me. Our enemies, brethren, are always with us. Right, left, top, bottom. Your enemies are there. But God is sharpening you every day of your life. Every moment of your life. If you allow him. You know, I've realized God is a God of speaking. God will always speak to his people. He wants to speak to us. Imagine even when we are asleep, sound asleep. He's still visiting us in dreams. He's still visiting us in visions. He's still giving us prophetic words. And when we wake up, he's giving us scriptures from the, his holy Bible. So God wants to equip us every moment because he knows we have an enemy. And this enemy is always with us. He is everywhere, like a rolling lion. And he is seeking for somebody to devour. And you know the Bible says in Ephesians 4.27 that give no place to the devil. Give no opportunity to the devil. Give no opening to the devil. You know in the business world, if you, if you want to do well in business and succeed, you don't go telling every dick and hurry the kind of business you're doing and the strategies you have set. And telling them this kind of commodity, I'm sourcing it from this particular place and I'm buying it at this particular price. And then I'm selling it, getting about 300%, 400% profit. And I'm selling it in this particular place. These commodities are going like hot cake. Let me tell you, if you tell your opponents that, your competitors, 
They are going exactly to do what you're doing. They will source where you're sourcing. They will bring and sell where you're selling at the same price you're selling and they end up getting the kind of profits you're getting. And let me tell you, you bring your business down. Why? Because of lack of wisdom. The Bible says, give no place to the devil. Don't give an opportunity to your enemies or your competitors. Those God-given opportunities, the opportunities that are life-given by God, and you get them once in a lifetime. Don't go telling everybody else. Don't reveal your secrets to your competitors. Follow the God-given secrets. Pursue them. And this is what God is going to use to bring you to higher levels in finances and breakthroughs in the finances. So the Bible says, give no place to the devil. Scriptures say, you God through your commandments, you have made me wiser than my enemies. I want to be wiser than my enemies. I want to be wiser than my competitors. I want to be wiser. There is that opportunity. There is that chance of you getting wiser and becoming wiser. How? By God, allowing God to continue imparting his knowledge of the word, his knowledge of the time. God is a God of time and season. And he knows, he knows each and everything that is happening in every season. In this particular season, we have COVID-19. And there's the knowledge that we are getting from the government, from the Ministry of Health, and they are sharpening us to be, to, to be safe or how to, be, to keep safe. Wash your hands. Keep social distance. Do this, do the other. You know? And other than that, we have also the equipping that is being done by God. Hallelujah. The Bible says, when you look at uh, the book of Job 26, very powerful word here. Job 26. Job 26. All these things are in the Bible. You are wondering, is this in the Bible also? Yes, it's in the Bible. And scriptures say in Job, the book of Job 26, verse 2 to 3. And Job is saying, but Job answered and said, and he is telling his opponents, how have you helped him that is without power? Hey, hey. God, in the past, you have helped him that has no power. I have seen you help me when I didn't have power. How savest thou the arm that has no strength? How you have saved my arm when I had no strength? When I didn't have anyone else to look to? When I didn't have anyone else to help me? How you saved, you, you saved my arm. And the Bible continues to say in verse 3, how you have counseled him that has no wisdom. That means given counsel to him that has no wisdom. Wow. And how have you plentifully declared the thing as it is? He's telling God, among my, my enemies or competitors, you have given me godly counsel. That means, he that has no knowledge or he that has no wisdom is called stupid or foolish. And the Bible says here, 20, Job 26 verse 3, how you have given the stupid, let me, allow me to say that, wisdom. If you allow God to give you counsel, divine counsel, this brings interventions in your life that no one you can get from no any other place. God sharpens you and this wisdom helps you in your life how to overcome your enemy. God is able to cancel a fool and get him from the position of a fool to a very wise individual. How you have helped him that is without power. Brethren, men and women of God, people of God, God has a history of having helped people who had no power right from their beginning, right from their humble beginning, helping them to raise them up and make them great people. The Bible says, 
God raises poor people and brings them to sit with the kings. God specializes in those things, turning impossibilities to possibilities. And even in this season of COVID-19, if you allow God, he's going to wisen you. He is going to give you the strength and the power that you need. He is going to give you the wisdom that you need. He is going to save you and give you the salvation that you need. Salvation is not only of the soul, but you need salvation in many areas of your life. That you are not, that you always be at the right place at the right time. That can only be done by God. That can only be caused by God. God is able, the Bible says, to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or can imagine. He can, you know there are times as we travel or do our day-to-day -day routine, there are times when, we are dist when people come and interfere with us and then we are mad. And there are times, let me tell you, it is not them, it is God that actually caused them to do that because God is trying to to, to, to block us from falling into the wrong places or getting into the wrong places. And uh, I realized, in the, when I was, uh, the time I lived in the U.S., and I realized that, um, you know, in the highways, when you're driving, uh, they are very serious when it comes to speed. So, and I'm telling you, I was there for five years, and I, I, I was never, never arrested one day. But you know what used to happen? Every time I'm over speeding, God would cause another motorist to overtake me. And then after overtaking me, he will actually come in front of me on my lane. There are times when I used to be mad. Why doesn't he use another lane? But God started teaching me. I've sent an angel to go before you. That he will help you to lower your speed. Slow down. Because there's danger ahead. And every, every time that happened, I'm telling you, ahead, I'll find, I'll find this driver ahead arrested by the, by the police because of overspeeding. He will have helped me without knowing. This is God wisening me, helping me, because he's able to help the helpless and make them strong and powerful people. God bless you. Thank you for, uh, for listening to this telecast. My name is uh, Pastor Isaac Kamau. Uh, you can follow me on my social media uh, pages. Uh, on Twitter is um, Isaac underscore Kagai. Facebook is Isaac Kamau Kagai. And also YouTube is Crisco Mountain Top. Thank you. God bless you. See you next time.